Hello, and welcome to DM Migsy's Let's Play of Psychonauts. Hopefully everything works this time around. I've actually recorded this a few times, and it decided to go, Nope, you're not allowed to do any of this. Anyway, so I'm your host, DM Migsy, or just Megzy. You might know me from I'm a Gonna Die game. I'm a Gonna Die Games channel. From playing Left 4 Dead with crazy people. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm just gonna dick around for a bit. <coughs> Excuse me, and talk about what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna basically do a full play of Psychonauts. I'm gonna go for as much as I can as a 100% run. So that means I'm gonna try to get all the figments I can, especially all the baggage, all the cobwebs, all the um the the safes and all that stuff. So. And you normally get this brain if you have a save file before, but if you haven't played this game, you should totally go over to Steam's, um, you just get Steam for free. It's, a uh, Valve's, um, gaming network on for the PC, and Psychonauts only runs you about, like, ten bucks, so if you guys haven't played this game, I totally recommend totally getting it, because it's awesome. Anyway, so we have load game, which just loads your previous files if you have two games and you want to load a different one. We have continue, which loads your previous file. And we have new game, which we're going to do. Let's totally just do this. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous... His hat has a little cork on the top From of this it. Day forward, it's like a safety feature. You are being all a camp psychic counselor. soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams, you shall fight his demons, you shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts! The rest of you will die! <laughs> oh, these poor kids. Oh, Maury. Children, like you are not going to die. If you're paying attention and well, you've played this game before. If you're not a psycho not, then you might as well you be You can dead. tell that they're sitting on the mental baggage. They told me this was a summer camp. <laughs> and I always felt oh, that Bobby's Zilch kind of looked like Don't worry top. about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years. Or and trust me, top. nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the <laughs> perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. <laughs> I like how the kids are easier to freak out. Especially since it's a good portion of them have really weird or okay, not weak, Quick, but advanced powers compared to poor our poor uh, protagonist. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your <laughs> name, darling? I'll find out. Get! Get! In! Ugh. A lot of 
people refer to him as. My name Bug starts Boy. with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! <laughs> Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. <laughs> I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling. But, but you <laughs> soar across the astral plane oh, to Raz wage psychic to warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? He looks pretty you good were for born it. with a special I can't gift. Remember if is supposed to be but the people 10, around you treat it like a not curse. Older than 10. Your mother is afraid of you, and your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, <laughs> a circus freak. But in this dojo, granted, all these people kind of look psychic like dojo. They make you a hero. Especially once you get over to some of these people's get character that designs. soldier a bunk. So moved. Granted, they're not going to send him home in the middle of the night. No, darling. You can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Oh, poor Raz. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. <laughs> but here... I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be, but looking, they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, Somebody with less weird what they don't expect, probably. is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, <laughs> once, kinda. But... Now I wear this special You kind of hat. forget that they're little kids Wanna sometimes. Try it on? No, no, no. Making people's heads explode. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. <laughs> if I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your but guinea But I thought you guys were just talking about sending me home. I got big plans for that mind. You guys are talking about sending me home, and now you're talking about running experiments on me? Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, you get three files. Upstairs, we have Nils, who's doing push-ups in a bed. I don't know why he's doing push-ups in a bed. Then you go over here, which is one of my my test file earlier, which you have Maloof downstairs. He always seems to be crying. Because it's Maloof, and he cries like a little baby all the time. Uh. And then we have my well, my master file, which I tend to save. Because every time I have to reset my computer, I like replaying this game because it's so much fun. Then you have Dogen underneath. So we're going to rewrite over this file. I didn't get very far, so it doesn't quite matter. Yes, I want to overwrite it. So... We're gonna pick my nickname, we're just gonna stay as Raz, because, whatever, um, you can change your name! Actually, here, let's, actually, let's change our name. Uh, let's change it to... Alright, I guess that's my max character, let's save it to that. And that's only gonna be important to the save file, they're not gonna call you anything else. They're always going to call you Rasputin or Raz. It's 
time for sleep. Oh wait, right, what? Settle down in here. Big day tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, right You want us at your class at six in the morning? What the crap? What the hell? It's an acid trip. They must have slipped me something before I went to bed. Okay, quick eye exam before Who the we hell start. Are you? Why are you wearing pink slippers? Look over that way if you will. I don't want to look over that way. No, I'm just gonna sit here. No, that way. This way? Oh, they didn't keep. They didn't keep my controls. Look okay, over there. Fine. Wow, what's that? Ooh. Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. And we get into the huh. schematics of the me if you game. Will. Ranks basically equal um your level. Up, up there. I'm looking at your giant head. <laughs> Come on. Well, you're not supposed to know how to do that, Ooh. but that's Some zoomed in. Markers are falling apart. You find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core and blah, blah, store blah. to hold them Basically, Keep crap that can be explained you know it, a little bit you'll easier. You'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take Raz, me Raz, don't you find this odd that you're talking to this strange guy no. in pink slippers in the middle of a that fog? in a black room that seems to have ambient light coming from nowhere. Oh wait, whatever. 